Lord Shiva said, O Vishnu of good rights, O Hari, listen to another pronouncement of mine. You will be worthy of honor and worship in all the worlds forever. Whenever a misery befalls the world created by Brahma, you shall be eager for the destruction of all miseries. In all difficult and unbearable activities, I shall help you. I shall kill your indefatigable and fierce enemies. O Vishnu, spread your glory in the worlds far and wide by taking up various incarnations. Strive for their succor. I am always Saguna when I become Rudra with this body. Certainly I shall perform your activities for the sake of the worlds if they are impossible for you. You are to be meditated upon by Rudra, and Rudra is to be meditated upon by you. There is no difference between you and Rudra. O great Vishnu, your identity is due to inherent nature, the boons conferred, and your divine sports. True, it is certainly true. If any devotee of Rudra were to censure you, he will have all his merits reduced to ashes quickly. O Vishnu, the most excellent of all persons, by hating you he will certainly fall into hell. That is my directive. True, it is certainly true. In this world, be the bestower of worldly pleasures and salvation to men particularly. Worthy of being honored and worshipped by devotees, perform the activities of curbing and blessing. Saying this, and holding me, the Creator, and Vishnu by the hand, he continued, Always render help in distress. Be the presiding deity of all. Bestow worldly pleasures and salvation forever. Be the most excellent accomplisher of the achievement of all desires. You will assume the form of the vital heirs in everyone at my bidding. O Hari, in the times of distress, Rudra, my manifestation, shall be worshipped. He who has sought refuge in you has certainly sought refuge in me. He who differentiates will certainly fall into hell. Listen to the span of life of the deities, Brahma, Vishnu, and Hara. There shall not be any doubt in this respect. A thousand sets of the four yuga periods constitute one day of Brahma. The period of his night is also similar. Further measurement of time is based on this calculation. Thirty such days and nights constitute one month, and twelve months, one year. The span of life of Brahma is a hundred such years. One year of Brahma constitutes one day of Vishnu. Vishnu lives for a hundred years in his own calculation. One year of Vishnu constitutes one day of Rudra. When a hundred year period passes, Rudra assumes the form of Nara, the supreme human being. He stays like that as long as the breath is retained by Sadashiva. When Sadashiva exhales, Nara merges into Shakti. In the case of all living beings, Brahma, Vishnu, Hara, Gandharvas, serpents, Rakshasas, etc., 21,600 respirations constitute the period of one day and one night, O foremost among devas. Six respirations constitute the period of time one pala. Sixty such palas constitute one gati. Sixty gatis constitute one day and one night. There is no limit to the number of respirations of Sadashiva. Hence, he is undecaying. It is my directive that you should preserve this form and maintain all the activities of the created worlds by means of these different gunas so long. On hearing these words of Shiva, the Lord Vishnu of controlled senses spoke slowly to Shiva after duly bowing to him. 
Vishnu said, O Shankara, the ocean of mercy, the Lord of the universe, be pleased to hear. I shall do all these things strictly adhering to your behests. I shall always meditate on you. I would not act otherwise. Your omnipotence has already been experienced by me. O Lord, let not the meditation of your form be ever far removed from my mind, even for a moment. O Lord, if any one of my devotees were to censure you, please assign perpetual residence in hell to him. O Lord, whoever be your devotee shall also be my favorite. He who knows and realizes this shall find salvation accessible to him. My greatness has been further heightened by you, certainly. If ever I am found deficient in qualities, may I be excused. Then, on hearing the excellent words of Vishnu, Shiva said to him, Of course the deficiency shall be excused lovingly. After saying this mercifully, the Lord, the ocean of mercy, stroked us all over the body with his hands. With a desire to do what is wholesome to us, he instructed us in various sacred rites and conferred on us many boons. Even as we were watching, the Lord Shiva, favorably disposed towards devotees, vanished immediately. The right of worshipping the Linga is instituted ever since in the world. Shiva installed in the Linga bestows worldly pleasures and salvation. The great goddess is the pedestal for the Linga. The Linga is Lord Shiva himself. Since the whole universe finally merges into it, it is called Linga. He who regularly reads this anecdote of the Linga in the vicinity of the Linga assumes the form of Shiva within six months. There need be no hesitation in this respect. O great sage, I cannot adequately express the blessedness accruing to the person who carries on any activity whatsoever in the vicinity of the Linga.